Good evening, everybody. RT here from Hero Labs, and it is a hot day, uh, both outside and in the crypto market. So let's take a look. I mean, just even on the quick five minute as I'm sitting here on the Hero website, and we're, I mean, it's looking bullish into the daily close. A nice basic, you know, semi-naked chart here, just really looking at the closer look at the daily here. Um, we got that bullish close. We did get the inside bar. So, I mean, a fail here, and we're right back into Chop Town and all the questions about 9K. So it is a critical day coming up for Bitcoin as we did not get a continuation candle. To be honest, I feel like we needed to retest this no matter what. There's just too much indecision at this level. I'm not that concerned with Bitcoin right now. I'm not ruling out that it can just, you know, nuke. I mean, it's got, it's got the consolidation, the volatility is low. Um, it feels too good to be true that it's all season, but I'm just looking at what I see in the chart. And what I see on the chart is that Ethereum, even though it was a couple of sats below the three day close I was hoping for tonight, which is 0.026. I've been talking about that level for a little while. Does this look like a breakout? Because to me, this still looks like a breakout and zoomed in on an older sort of daily and three day chart here. I mean, we just got a really solid three day close after this kind of consolidation on the other side of this trend line. And I mean, that's that's a big three day close. To me, that is a breakout, um, even though, you know, we're still stopped up here at this resistance. So a little more decisions to be had here with ETH and BTC. But for now, I mean, that's a solid candle. There's no two ways about it. And that's why we've been seeing a lot of the confidence come back into alts is because of, you know, the leader, the holy leader, Ethereum versus Bitcoin. And as we talked about before, the dominance did break down from within the risk window. So, I mean, nothing really changed here. It's just looking great. And this window is just going to keep going as long as it needs to go. For now, we are here. So what can I say? It's a very exciting time to be in alt trading right now. It is always a sense of, you know, what's Bitcoin going to do? And is it going to ruin our day? And is the volatility going to crush these alt setups? Um, but I don't think as a trader, I mean, we're here. I'm here you know, in this market to make money. And sometimes the conditions are really good. Sometimes they're bad. I mean, we'll live in these risk off windows sometime in the future for weeks, months. Right now, I mean, when are you taking your risks in the market if you're not taking some right now? Am I going to go all in, no stop loss, all across the board, all alt? No, because, you know, even on those like shakeouts like last Saturday, I'd have a really hard time sticking in a position because I'm over leveraged. And, and when you trade over leveraged, you, you know, over risk your account, um, you're more prone to emotional decisions. So I am moving forward with risk management in mind, but I am taking risks because we are in a risk on window. And until Bitcoin breaks out of this consolidation, it doesn't even have to be this pennant, but just generally this range, um, all coins are going to get their bids. It, it seems clear as day. So I'm in. So with that said, let's take a look at a few altcoins that are on my radar tonight. Aeon, as you know, over the last couple of weeks we've been watching, it came right into this really nice 8 to 1 GAN right off the sweet spot, and it's running. Algo's got something coming up later this month, and off the sweet spot again, market structure, and it has not shied away from a little continuation over the last couple of days. Here's what I'm keeping an eye on. CTSI, don't know a whole lot about the project. A quick read told me it was a platform token, so essentially, you know, smart contracts, etc. Didn't get the close on the daily that it was hoping to get. So it was up here a couple hours ago, got pushed back down. Doesn't mean it's done, but it's certainly not the sort of SR flip that perhaps I was looking for tonight. I'll be honest, I absolutely love Adam popping up all over the feeds today. You know, we've been watching this thing since this bullish market structure came in on divergence, rallied up, bearish market structure came back down and had this fill zone um, posted on some old charts. And sure enough, they filled, even though this little low got stopped out. You got a second chance if that was your stop because of this inside bar looking very bullish and then more structure here. And of course, now the larger bullish structure has formed. So, I mean, this thing is just looking great. And good old BNB. I mean, what can I say? I have a knack for catching it at all the right moments and not trading it. I saw this yesterday on the stream. We were talking about it. I mean, what an invalidation level. Why not take a risk against these lows? And so far, it is not disappointed. I would not be shocked at all to see it come back down and chop through here as it goes, but it's promising to see a nice break today. You can see here in the USDT pair that it was a really nice little squeeze going on here between this really old SR level all the way back to really this old pivots here. Um, and it's just been resting on on that so after it came through this trend line that it's been riding down it's no surprise it got a little pop through that 
again you know some retests if bitcoin gets a little volatile but this thing is looking good i think a lot of people forget with binance coin how much they've really got going on aside from stealing a ton of market share from bitmex on the leverage trading they're rolling out new products all the time they've got their own chain this acts as a gas feature on that do they have a viral app no have you heard about anything going on over there not yet but i would not be shocked to hear some announcement coming up soon about new DeFi project running on the Binance chain, BEP8, let's go. All it takes is a little bit of that kind of energy back into this coin before everyone starts screaming about new highs. So keep a real close eye on this little break up here. Cody also broke out of this little pennant and seems to be ready to run. And lastly for today, I think KMD is worth a look after this sort of W formation coming in right into the sweet spot again and a little bit of market structure here to work with as volume starts to pick up. So that's all for tonight. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Everything here could fall apart with intense Bitcoin volatility, but I, like I said, I'm prepared to take some risks in this market because you don't always get charts like this. You don't always get momentum like this, energy like this. And when you do, um, for me, you know, it's just important to trade it and always playing from a position of strength, working with these RLZs, working with the sweet spots, hunting divergence. You don't have to chase pumps right now. I mean, there's a lot of juicy charts that aren't up 300%. Of course, none of this is financial advice. I'm simply pointing out my thoughts on price action and sharing a little bit of insight into what I'm doing personally. We'll be live tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. on TradingView on YouTube and Twitch. So whatever one you prefer to watch through, check us out. I'll be there and we'll be talking charts. And I'm actually gonna be going over some indicators. Somebody was asking about how they work, what I look for. And I'll be doing a little lesson on that while we look through some charts and do some requests. So I hope to see you there. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful evening.